welcome, welcome. I'm so excited for this experience. So about four months ago now, I put out an offer to the world to make your own affirmation album. And I got into a call with Kristen and, you know, she was shy. She doesn't know that I picked up on this, but she was pretty shy. She was shy? The what? first time that we met. Okay. <laughs> Little reserved. And over the past three months, I have gotten, honestly, the honor to really experience her expansion and really experience her power as she steps into her artistic voice. We have Sherry coming in. As she steps into her artistic voice and we've gone all over the place. We've gone into the deep, we've gone into the light We've gone into the dark, we've gone into the light and the heavy, and mm. we've gone through it all. And through this, we have Phoenix rising. And I'm going to just let Kristen share what does Phoenix rising mean? But the outline of it is that it is a five song affirmation album depicting and really pouring from the heart and the soul of Kristen and everything that her soul needs to hear as she ventures into this new era and it's a five-part um album and i will talk about what each song is and what it represents and then Kristen will share what it represents for her and how it has and what it has brought out for her so that you can experience a piece of her soul through the music and so with that being said phoenix rising Kristen, what does phoenix rising mm. Ooh, so the last three or four months um, has been really, really heavy. I would say actually the last like probably four years of my life, but absolutely um, the last three or four months. Um, I didn't know necessarily what I was searching for. I feel like it. I was like divinely led to this process um, because it's the affirmation music has been able to get me through so much, so many of my like dark times and dark moments and and as you all listen to the album I get you when you say I was shy because even when I was listening to it I can kind of hear my evolution over the <laughs> over the five songs too from my the first song that I recorded which I was just you know in such a dark place so, oh goodness I was like in a more darker place um and trying to dig deep into what you pulled out through the visualization um, of what could bring me out of that. And um, yeah, I just, I hope you all enjoy it. I just, I'm great, very thankful and grateful that you are here with me today. Hey, Sherry. Um, and that, yeah, that you can share in this, this moment. So I appreciate it. Yeah. Hello, hello. Thank you for tuning in. So the first song that we created together was called the visionary song. And with the visionary archetype, the it's really the activation of that, that which sees beyond the present moment. It's what we're stepping into. It's the era that's calling us forth. And when we create this song, we're really going into the heart of what Kristen wants to materialize in her life. And so as you hear the song called Iconic, Kristen's just going to share with you, what does iconic mean? And really, really, where do you see iconic in your music making an impact in the world? I would say iconic for me means just being your authentic self. And I know that that's difficult for us to do because we don't know where to begin sometimes to even find that. And it takes a lot of kind of trials and tribulations. <laughs> Um, and a bunch of um, not giving a fuck about what other people think, you know what I mean, or or say about you when you moving authentically and just being like, this is what I see for myself. And, and that's just it. You know, I think that just being iconic, I think every single person on this planet is iconic because we have all unique skills, talents, and abilities. And my prayer is for everyone to tap into their their iconic juice. <laughs> their oh, you sure? you're about iconic juice. Yeah, so that you know the life that they live. Write that down. <laughs> yeah, that is 
that they're creating the life that they want to live as opposed to life happening to them, which we all fall into that. You know what I mean? Um, so this was my way of like picking myself up out of that place and remembering who the fuck I am, basically, on a soul level. Beautiful. And with that, we have the first song I Iconic. Just making sure you can hear it. I can't hear anything. No, you can't hear. All right, perfect. I remember who I am. This is what I do. 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 I am iconic. 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 I offer my unique gifts, various channels, ways. My energy is light. My energy invites. My energy is warm. My energy is sure. My energy is light, 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 light. My energy invites. My energy is warm. My energy is short. I am attracted. My energy is so attractive. My energy is so attractive. I am attracted. My energy is so attractive. My energy is so attractive. My energy is so attractive. I help the live leaders with their mission and vision. My energy is warm. My energy is short. I help the live leaders with their mission and vision. My energy is warm. My energy is short. I am uplifting. I am so, so great. I am uplifting. I am so, so great. I am grace. I am beautiful. I am grace. Right on time. Right on time. What are we thinking? How are we feeling? Uh, <laughs> can we have a couple shares of how you feel? How did that, that song make you feel? How did the affirmations make you feel? It was a vibe. Yeah. I like that it had a little, you know, it's like bouncing to it. Like... I was going to say vibe too. <laughs> like a peaceful Mm-hmm. Yeah. Almost like it puts you in a trance. Right. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh man. But I also want to say too that Coex uh she produces this these beats. Oh. That was dope because it, it went yeah, nice. like, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. It, it it very was soothing. Mm -hmm. a soothing sound beat. And voiceover. Mm -hmm. oh. I would say that this one, and I'm so excited 
hold up to hear it back and to hear the just the way that her voice transforms and it's almost as if you can hear it in the delivery of her voice like to hear this song now like that you made three months ago I'm like oh my god the baby <laughs> but um I'm excited because it really reminded me of how working with her album was so healing for me and as we get into this next song the energizer it really is about getting so we opened up the the vision for the visionary archetype and when we go deeper there is a deeper level to what what we're manifesting what we're creating and it's really where the energizer archetype lives and the energizer and within the energizer we're really getting to the heart of what it is that we want and why it is that we want it in particular and so i'm not sure if you want to share kristen specifically where we went and specifically why you wanted to go there and how you wanted to weave your way weave your energy into creating the song so just to share a little background of what was revealed and to magnify that manifestation but um, when we go into the heart, we we reveal through our past what it is that it, it actually is that we're wanting to manifest and wanting to create. And we had a very big breakthrough in this mm -hmm. moment, in this session. So this song has an extra special place in my heart as a co-creator in this song and just as a witnesser of Kristen's expansion. So Kristen, please... Um, share more with us about the second song, Possibility. Yeah, I think if I'm not mistaken, this is the session. <clears throat> I think I got like really emotional on this session. We were looking at the past, I believe. And I had talked about an experience that I had, I think when I was like 13, um, which I um, was suppressing my emotions. It was like the first time I realized that I, had an issue with like suppressing my emotions and had a lot to do with like I, I like smashed my finger in the garage door when I was with my uncle and I like would not cry even though it hurt it like hurt so bad right but I didn't feel safe to cry not with him but just that my past had dictated that no one would care if I expressed myself Right. And so I held it in and then I like had to go to the emergency room and all this other stuff. And then my uncle came to me and he was like, um, he looked at it. He was like, I know that hurt. And when he said that, I just like burst out into tears. But the whole the whole thought that like, for whatever reason, I was like intentionally suppressing this. And, and that's kind of how I moved in my in my life, you know, like suppressing those emotions. And so that kind of came to light. And um, so the name of this song is Possibility um, because I was looking at overcoming all of those childhood things that we kind of get hung up on and just looking at it like I, I really believe in the possibility of doing and having and achieving whatever it is that I want. But a part of this is me healing um, from those things in the past. Beautiful. And with that, Possibility. I've decided I I've decided I deserve more. I've decided I deserve more. I've decided I deserve more. My mind is clear. My heart is clear. I'm just present. My body is clear. My mind is clear. My heart is clear. I'm just present. My body is clear. I feel so connected to the earth, to the earth. I feel so connected to nature. I feel so connected to nature. I feel so connected to the earth, to the earth. I feel so connected. 
Favorite ones. Yeah, I like that. Okay. It's the I believe in possibility for me. Yes, me too. Yes. Flow. And y'all, when I was working on these songs, like there's something about Kristen. It was like where every song that she created, it was like as I was making it. I like had tears because it was like exactly what I needed. It was exactly what I needed in that moment. You know, you know, as a as a coach or as a music producer, it it can be easy to forget that I'm human. <laughs> trying to be perfect and trying to, you know, just be everything that I have in my head that represents someone who can hold space in that way. And Kristen working with her has just helped me in like really surrendering. And that song is like really where that that started for me. And so I absolutely love it. What does everyone else think? I appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely love it. I love the message. Endless possibilities basically is what you know you spoke of. And it also reminds me to step into my creative genes as well, you know, and create whatever, you know, ideas I have in my head that's been festering there forever. Um, so yeah, loved it and the beat. Beautiful. Oh, and that's what, and that's what it's for, like the affirmation music period, right? Is like it's meant to <laughs> Cause I had to reach in the deep pits of, of hell <laughs> to, kind of bring, to kind of bring up, you know, cause I was in this sort of creative deficit myself, you know what I mean? And so, um, we just much happier people when we are doing what we love to do, you know? And, yep. and we just, when we got to believe in possibility because life can be so freaking hard, you know what I mean? Sometimes. And so confusing and so just like, where do I go from here? And it's like, and you know that you want to do more. You know that you want to, you know, really show your unique skills, talents, and abilities. You know, and sometimes you just need that to have something saying like, I believe in possibility. So it's meant to inspire me and others. <laughs> and I love the- Definitely felt so inspired. Yeah. I love the the journey from the first uh the first 
title, I'm iconic, it's almost as if you're anchoring yourself down into the new world that you're creating for yourself. It's I'm iconic. I'm supposed to be here. And then it's possibility. I believe in possibility. I see the new that I'm creating. And then the next song is I'm fucking happy or it's called fucking happy, <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> and really what does that mean what does what does this song mean so before you answer that really quick just now we're going into you know we we activate the vision. now we get to the heart of what it is that we want in that vision and now it's about getting specific and in this designer archetype we get specific about what it is that you want to live on in your dream life on three levels deep a chill day a work day and most epic day ever and what do you want it to actually feel like? What do you want it to actually encapsulate? And you know, what do you want it to to be filled with? And that's where we got to fucking happy. So I'm so I'm just so looking forward to what fucking happy means to you. And I just love saying that. <laughs> yes. Because I don't want to just be happy. I want to be fucking happy. You feel me? And um, and that's something that I, I work on, you know, every day. Because you can only take it one day at a time. Some days are better than others. But you know what's so funny? Like, I have a cat, right? And when I look at my cat, and I be like, she's just so fucking happy. And she's so content. Like, She's not do you know, like she's not out here trying to make a bunch of money or make any money or she a house cat. She don't even go outside and she just, she happy, right? And, and why does it take so much for us as humans to be happy? When the only time I see her, well, she'll chill in my room. The only time I see her is when she come out and she'd be like, um, I, meow, I need some more food. You know what I mean? She'll come and alert me of that. But, you know, I'm like, we just got to be fucking happy every day with what we have already being grateful with what where we are and, and allowing more to come into our lives. You know what I'm saying? Like one of the things that I really admire about my aunt LaShawn is that like, she always fucking happy. <laughs> well, actually, her and my father. Her and my father are like the happiest people I've ever known. <laughs> no matter what's going on, right? But one of the things I admire about my aunt is like, she loves music. She loves concerts. Like she's constantly doing what she loves to do. You know what I mean? Like she loves to dance. And every time I look up, like she, she had another concert. She, you know, she's somewhere on that dance floor. You know what I mean? And I love it because it's like, she followed the, the DJs and stuff on Twitch. <laughs> and like, I mean, but, but it's like, she feels her life. And things, and she and she moved from our hometown like years and years ago, and she she got a community where she at. Like she she can find happiness wherever she go because she's just happy within, you know. And I and I just I love that, and I admire that so much about her. And so for me, this song is me translating like what it feels like to be fucking happy. Mm. Absolutely, well, no, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and with that we have fucking happy gotta get that first I appreciate what matters appreciate most what matters my family most. my family I'm in awe of being able to build out this new life for myself. I'm in awe of being able to build out this new life for myself. My business is the right. I am surrounded by sisters. I'm attracting the business and sales. My business is the right. I am surrounded by sisters. I'm attracting the business and sales. And I live such an amazing life. And I am fucking happy. 
That gets the deep voice. That gets the chest voice right there. I can't wait yeah. to uh, to just have that blasting in my speakers because that's powerful. That's powerful, especially as an entrepreneur. Right. Much joy. Mm-hmm. No, I said I said um much much joy. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. You have to have you have to have joy in your life because that makes you happy. Yeah, fucking happy. <laughs> I do want to say something too. One of the things you touched on, Kristen, is when you said like you just got to find your happy in the moment. Basically, like I feel like no matter what level you get to, we are always gonna find something to complain about. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the fact that you said something about God at the end, I'm always like, God, ah, just use me. Like, <laughs> use me, do your will. Um, because I really feel like no matter like how how successful you might get monetarily, you're gonna always find something in it that makes you unhappy. So I like it. Why you happy? <laughs> because some of the richest people are unhappy. Oh yes, very much so. Yeah, that's why they commit suicide. Yeah. And oh, I'm, and then if you lose it all too, that's another reason they be committing suicide because they feel like they life over when you don't have it. Yeah. And I think that's the biggest thing about working mm-hmm. with Kristen that it really it really came back home to over and over again is that it doesn't matter. A lot of the people that I work with have had success. And it doesn't matter how much success that you've had, we're all human at the end of the day. And it doesn't matter if you are, you know, seen outside as this person who has it all. Everyone needs this affirmation music. Everyone needs to remember that God, we built this. We did this. We did this. I couldn't do it without you. Right. It's so important. It's that's what makes it so powerful. And I would yeah, say, yeah. Oh, go ahead. Oh, I'm go sorry. ahead. Um, quickly I was just gonna say that um I would say that success is happiness like that's that's success for me you know what I'm saying because titles the money now I love money I like money don't get me wrong but I'm saying that that's not necessarily where you find that happiness I I feel like following my joy and that's success finding that that success yeah happiness versus joy Mm. yeah you just have to wake up in the morning first thing you have to do is say thank you lord for another day 
and I'm going to make this an amazing day. I'm going to make it happen. Mm. That's my motto when I get up in the morning. Mm. I'm going to make it happen, and I'm going to make it. I don't care how somebody piss me off, I'm still going to make it an amazing day. Absolutely. Because it's truly the only thing you have control of. Sometimes we allow people to put us in certain situations. And I just, I, I can't do that no more. So I'm just going to cut you off and I'm going to do me because I'm going to be happy and I'm just going to make it happen every day. Auntie, you my auntie now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because I'm, I'm going to need to. I mean, she, her, she okay. everybody auntie. Everybody, we, everybody who's calling auntie. <laughs> and, and, my, and I'm going to live off of this. I don't know if y'all listen to Erica Campbell, but what two things I love that she said, I love you, but I love you over there. And do not make permanent decisions in temporary situations. Mm. I love that. I definitely did that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love you, but I love you over there. <laughs> that is so real, and that's what that's that's the basis of peace for me. The foundation, the foundation. So as that song was playing, Kristen, I realized that I think this song, the next one we're about to talk about, is the is the garage song. Love you. And I think the other song was the realizing, the, the, the breakthrough of realizing the, that there was grieving. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And so maybe you want to talk about that here, you know, and just share what that has been for you and just moving from the old life into this new life that you're creating. Uh, this next song is just a, a little overview is the higher guide. And so in this whole journey of creating an affirmation album that really speaks to the heart of the creator, there is, there's not going to always be, it's not going to always be sunshine and rainbows. And there are going to be times where we're going to need to be met in the depths of our pain, in the depths of, you know, the realness, the rawness of authentic humanity. And that's what the higher guide is about. The higher guide is there to meet us in the dark places and in the dark moments and give us the exact guidance, the exact affirmations, the exact reminders that we need. And so this particular session is literally designed to trigger because we want to get there because we want to meet the higher guide there and we want to draw the higher guide to us in this place. So um, please share what love you means in this regard and what the higher guide means to you in your journey. Mm -hmm. Um, this is my favorite song, by the way. These next two songs are my favorite songs. Uh, and I guess just because of the evolution <clears throat> of it. But this one in particular, Love You, is like, we tend to be so hard on ourselves and not to give ourselves grace um, for whatever reason. We are our biggest critic. And so this was like <clears throat> me saying to myself or my higher guy saying to me like, we love you. There are people who love you. Like you, you don't have to do this alone. Like you never, you're never alone. You know what I mean? Even when you feel like you're alone, you're not alone. Um, and so it really was like calling on the high, the higher guys and higher spirits, because at the end of the day, when you are in those deepest, darkest moments, there's not another human there with you. You know what I mean? There is this, um ethereal omnipotent present god universe whatever 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 you call it right is there and that's what delivers you from that you know and so you get to a place where it's like it doesn't matter about your mother or your father or your family or who did what or who wasn't there or whatever it's really more so like this is what's here to support you protect you guide you and so you never alone even in times where you felt alone, which I've had many times where I felt like I was alone and not that I really was, I could have called somebody or reached out, but 
it is those moments where the only thing that you can reach out to is the higher spirit. And that's the only thing that can feed you. So this is just kind of an ode to me around and to others around you don't have to feel alone. There are people who love you. Mm. Beautiful. Beautiful. And with that, love you. Never gonna have to walk this path alone. You're never gonna have to walk this path alone. People love you. Yeah. Mm. I'm just so grateful that I get to call this the work that I do. That song in particular was very healing to create. It helped me through a very dark time in my life, a dark time I never shared with anyone in public. That song is powerful. It's powerful. I love it. I love it. I just want to say one thing, ladies. I'm going to have to hop off of here because I just put up in church parking lot. Our Bible study started at 7. Okay, Auntie. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll can listen to the rest of it um, when I see you this weekend. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right, ladies, you guys enjoy, and I will talk to you later. All right. Have a good Bye, time. Auntie. Say a prayer for us. <laughs> I sure will. Take care. Bye. Yes. Can I just say I love, like, the piano in there? I like the beat, and then, Kristen, you've always had, like, what they call a singer's voice, so your voice is so calming. <laughs> 
Oh, I know you can get loud. <laughs> it was very soothing. It was very soothing. Yeah. Thank you. Ain't she a co-producer? Like, <laughs> she's so cold. Like, I, man, yes, the, the, the beats. Yeah, we had talked about how, like, I love the, I know, I, I'll say the, we going into the last one, but she cold. She cold, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, much love, much love. It feels like you are speaking to such a deep, deep place inside. Yes. Thank yeah. you, Sherry. Thank you, Sherry. My my hope and prayer is that when I do release this commercially, that um that yeah, that 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 hones in for people. You know what I mean? Because again, it's not just it, it's for me. But I know so many other people can relate to being in those places and spaces. And I appreciate you sharing that, Coex, like that you were going through something too at the time. And that's the thing, like we really are human. It's like, no matter what our artistry is, you know, it's like you human and you go through things. And I know people always want to look out like, you got everything, you got it going on. And you like, barely, like... <laughs> Hey, a thread. Like I, I just lost my mind yesterday and found it again this morning, you know? <laughs> yes. For real. Yeah. Oh man. And something that something that you said inspired um it's going to come back when it's time, but it was something about, oh, my dad always had a saying of what comes from the heart goes to the heart. And as a singer, it's not about having people tell you that you have a nice voice. It's about really how you make them feel. And going to the depths, just speaking to, speaking to what Sherry um, said, yeah. You know, when you go to the depths of yourself, we can't help but hear it. And that's why it was so healing to create it. And that's why it's so healing to listen to it because you have to go there before you ask other listeners to go there. And that's exactly what you did. And so we have one more song here. The main character. So the main character archetype is really all about stepping into right? We've, we've gone through an entire journey. We created the picture. We got to the heart of what the picture means to us. We got specific in the picture actualized and activated. And then we got to when the picture gets a little gray, when it gets a little dark. And now in the main character, we're really stepping into the main character of our story. We're stepping into it. And I want Kristen to really share because she kept it at the main character monologue. And I want her to share what the main character monologue means to her definitely so i wanted to keep the name of this song um the same as the exercise which was the main character archetype but it's just the main character monologue because i wanted it to speak to the fact that like it, it for us to remember that we are the main character like this is our movie this life is our movie and we are the main character and everybody else are supporting actors actresses they're extras you know what I mean? And so they're going to be highs and lows the same in in movies, right? Where it's a plot, you know, and there's all of these adventures that take place. But remembering that we are the main character in our movie allows us the confidence to move through this life as that, you know, like get out the way. I'm here. I have arrived. I'm iconic. You know, I'm fucking happy. <laughs> Possibilities. And I am the main character, period, you know? And so this is permission for us to take up space um, in this world and to, you know, again, make it known that you have arrived, you know, mm -hmm. and kind of get back deep down in those depths in yourself when you was a child and you were unafraid, right? And you didn't have all of these responsibilities and being able to once in a while say, fuck them responsibilities. You know what I'm saying? Kids, sit y'all ass down over here in the corner because I'm about to do this 
and this is about me right now. And that's just, and y'all just gonna have to accommodate. You know what I mean? Instead of us constantly accommodating around everything and all the people in our lives, it's about time that we take up space and we make other people accommodate us. You know what I'm saying? And and there's a level of confidence that you have to, and you can do it afraid, right? Like you cannot feel confident and still, you know, what you put in that energy forth, you'll become confident. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's just taking that leap of faith. So this is around you being the fucking main character in your fucking life. Period. And with that... Quit being an extra in your own damn life and quit being a supportive actress and actor in your own damn life and be the main character. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Period. <laughs> and with that, the main character monologue. Speak up, speak up, and speak your truth, and speak your truth. Don't worry about what others might think. Don't worry. Address what you need to address. Confront what you need to confront. Then let it go. Then let it go. This is here to teach you that you are here to be seen, heard, and to show up. And to show up. Your divine right is to show up for yourself. You're being divinely led and guided. Once you show up for you, others will too. Because you are in love. But you have to do first for yourself. And initiate that love. Thank the blocks for coming into your life as lessons. Because she is me, I know exactly what she means. Because she is me, I know exactly what she means. You have to go through it in order to grow through it. There are no shortcuts. There are no shortcuts. You have to go through it. Because the journey is where you learn to overcome. To overcome. You understand that when you feel out of alignment, it's because your soul and human are not in agreement. And the way to get through it is time. It's time. And meditation. And meditation. Spend time alone. And spend time in nature. Spend time. Pray to your higher God. Pray to me and trust that answers will be revealed no sooner than you're ready. No sooner. Because you'll be ready to do the work, to shift back to the highest expression of yourself. To shift back. The true work happens within. Use the tools around you, but the answer is within. Trust that the answer will absolutely be absolute. I hope you believe in miracles because you will see them. Because you will see them. Remember. That there is no rush. You don't walk into a buffet and try to eat all the food that day that you'll eat forever, right? It's within. It's within. Everything is unfolding. The lack of patience is the lack of trust. But when you trust and go do something else, it'll show up when you least expect it. And you'll know immediately what to do. And you'll know. Learn to care about your feelings. Care about your feelings. Once you learn how to care about how you feel, you'll be able to use your anger as your emotional guidance system. You'll be able to use your anger as your emotional guidance system. Allow your anger to speak to you and uncover the feeling deep inside. Confront any injustices you feel, as you'll learn that when you do, you won't be afraid of the consequences. Because they'll be just. They'll be just. That's enough for you to push forward because you want to see the best outcome on the other side. Your emotional guidance system is your personal GPS. Personal GPS. Gauging how you feel, how you use those emotions. Use those emotions. It's your intuition. And when you feel emotions on a lower level, it's your intuition. You may need to do something to align with your higher self. Align. Believe everything that you feel. Don't believe everything that you think. Don't believe everything that you think. Remember, being emotional and respecting your emotions are two different things. When you allow yourself to experience the emotion behind the emotion, behind, you can use it as a guide, as a guide to guide you to your highest good and the highest good of all the world. I love you. I love you. Are you ready to join me?
I forgot to mention before this one that this particular one, we usually record all the songs in the session, but this particular one, Kristen recorded it by herself and she didn't know what the beat was going to be. I had just whipped this up and the beat didn't exist before she, like she recorded the song and I whipped it up and I sent it to her and I sent her a couple options and I didn't really even have to edit her voice. It just fell into the pocket. Mm. Like the way that that just happened, it was just like so such divine alignment. Like it, it you knew where to pause. It's like you knew that the beat existed before it existed. Wow, I absolutely love that monologue. Like I love that monologue. Like that, like I said, four and five is like my favorite. But that that electric guitar, that. Ding, ding. <laughs> I love it. More guitar, got it. <laughs> Electric guitar, I just, I love it. Mm. Beautiful. 